Hello and welcome to the Lair of the Visionary, where I show you how to build your very own props. And it's time, my friends, for the long-awaited and long-overdue How to Make Deadshot's Custom AR-15. Let's begin. <laughs> For this build you'll need pencil or pen, scissors, box cutter, hot glue gun and glue sticks, super glue, EVA foam, cardboard, tic tac container, clothespin, cardboard tubes, and paint. Before we get started, you're going to need these templates, which you can pick up from the description down below. You're also going to need lots of reference photos for the rifle. To start off, take and trace the template marked 1 onto a piece of EVA foam. Then flip the template over and trace it out once again. Then taking a box cutter, cut both traced pieces out. Then proceed to hot glue both pieces together. Then when that's done, proceed to hot glue along all the seams. Then taking a card, squeegee off the excess hot glue. Then taking an old Tic Tac container, I removed the cap and hot glued it under our foam piece like the way you see here. Be sure to save the Tic Tac container as this will be the basis of the magazine for our rifle. Then taking a clothespin that I cut down to a smaller size, I hot glued it to the slot on our foam piece that we made using template 1. Then. Taking the template mark 2, I trace it out onto some cardboard twice, then taking our trusty scissors, cut both pieces out. I then hot glued both cardboard pieces onto both sides of the foam piece we made using template 1. You're also going to want to add some cardstock to some exposed areas. Then, taking the template mark 3, I trace it out onto a piece of EVA foam twice, then cut both pieces out, then hot glue both pieces together. This will be the handle of our rifle. I then hot glue the handle to the main rifle body as seen here. I also hot glued into place a trigger guard. Then taking two cardboard paper towel tubes, or PVC pipe if you don't have thick enough tubes, I hot glued two together. This will be the barrel of our rifle. I then hot glued both ends to some cardboard. Then I cut off the excess. Then taking my trusty Swiss Army knife, I carefully punctured a hole into one end of the barrel. Then taking an old paint bottle, I hot glued it into the hole that we just made. Then taking the template marked 4, I trace it out onto a piece of EVA foam twice, then cut both pieces out, then hot glued both pieces together. Then I hot glued the piece 13 centimeters from the back end of the barrel. This will be the secondary handle of the rifle. Then, taking the template marked 5, I trace it out twice onto a piece of cardboard, then cut both pieces out, then hot glued the pieces onto both sides of the tic tac container. 
And as stated earlier, this will be the magazine of the rifle. Then, to cover up the exposed areas, I hot glued the front, back, and bottom of the magazine onto some cereal box cardboard. Don't forget to cut off the excess. Then, taking another cardboard tube, I hot glued one end of the tube to one end of a piece of foam, 15.5 by 4 centimeters in size. I also rounded the edges of the foam. I then hot glued a thinner cardboard tube at an angle, connecting the other end of the foam to the other end of the bigger cardboard tube. This will be the buttstock of the rifle. Now for the scope of the rifle, taking another old paint bottle, I hot glued a long strip of cardboard, 3 centimeters in width, around one end of the bottle. I then hot glued a 7.5 by 3 centimeter piece of EVA foam to the bottom of our scope. Now on to the paint. I began by giving everything a base coat of silver. Then, I painted certain areas like the handles, scope, and magazine a flat black. Then, I taped off the areas I wanted to remain black and painted the rest with three coats of red. I then painted the scope and bottom of the magazine gold. Now, while you could hot glue the barrel and stock to the main rifle body, instead, I found these little black caps that have a tight fit into our cardboard tubes. So what I did instead was, I screwed the caps into the front and back of the rifle body, then attached the barrel and stock to the caps like so. Then, I hot glued the scope onto the rifle, like the way you see here. Then, I added on some of the last remaining details, like the cocking mechanism, which I made out of a strip of cardboard and super glue cap, the gold railing, which I made out of a long strip of cardboard, and the shell ejection cover. Then, I painted a few remaining designs with some gold paint. It really helps to have steady hands when doing this. And then lastly, give the rifle a coat of gloss plastic spray. And that's a wrap.